part of our trip to meet collectors, we've gone up to Manchester to Derek Flitcroft's, better known as Degsy. Bit cold up here, apparently he's got a brew on for us. Thanks for letting us come and see your collection today, mate. Bird, it's in the loft. Yeah. Just going to have a little rummage. Yeah. Come on up, let's have a look. Little rabbit, Warren. Blimey. trainers do you reckon you got? Too many, but uh, about 800. And how many of them are Puma? Four or five hundred pairs. These are uh, other collectors, uh, similar numbers do you reckon? Oh I'm only a minion. Oh, right. <laughs> there's, plenty, there's plenty out there. How have you managed to get the collection together really? Like where have you gone from? Well like I said I found the internet and these Facebook groups in about 2010, 11. Yeah. And then you just get to know people, buy a few, and it just then snowballs. Don't well, it? I definitely found Facebook in about 2008, and it definitely snowballed, so I know what you're talking about, yeah. And I'm hoping today, really, with finding some of your stuff, we can share it and we can get a bit of feedback and a bit of love. I've sort of pulled these out with you. We're noticing a similar soul unit, so yeah. this, you think, 80s? 80s, is definitely. Blue colour has always been popular, so it's sort of something we're encouraging back. Degsy's reckoning Puma have probably done this so yeah I'm pretty sure in the last reissue of the uh, Dallas similar to the Dallas we did the Dallas and it sold out we'd be probably looking to do the Dallas again or encouraging Puma to do the Dallas and then there's a lever and a burn a burn and again you would have thought just, just the one, one colour color, yeah proper excited to talk about Dex's collection of like original footy trainers that were big late 70s 80s the majority of the lads where I live Grew up on them first, all from the market. What are they called? Might of Memphis, and flowing up by kick, and then it's your usual scenarios, Mambas, and then obviously your Dalglish should be there no, as well. Enough people had the kick. I mean, I tend to remember it being fairly affordable. Would you have priced would you have thought they were? I think they're about seven or eight quid. Majority of them, everybody got them from the catalogue. These slightly more? Yeah, they'd probably be about 13, 14 quid. You've got your Dalglish there, and you've got a similar sole on these Bratinis. Bring back we're doing is going to be the Patrick Liverpool similar but obviously uh, the idea of bringing back a platini we'd never be able to get the permission on the branding yeah so I had the Keegan boots blinding lovely little pair of Keegan's called Keegan juniors and with your Keegan boot you'd have got a Kev photo which I bet everyone was pretty glad about that I meant to say probably a big reason we've come here today was we've been relaunching a bit of Puma and working closely with them Degs has been working with the people at Puma, so we're hoping to bring some styles back. After Blue Star, this was a shoe that I got in 1980. Your first pair? These were my first proper pair I got for Christmas. You got a bit of a story on this yeah, one? Yeah, first coloured pair of trainers I got in about 1982. My pal had just come back from travels abroad around Europe. I got them for six quid, which was a bargain at the time. Excellent. Well, they're called Goldfit and they're TQ80. This one that I sort of pulled out, because lads keep saying to me, you got to do the Puma jeans. Familiar with the name Adidas jeans. This must be the colourway. It's, it's to do with represent a, jeans. And easily worn with a pair of jeans, which the bulk of the trainers we sell well today are easily worn with a pair of jeans. Roma was just one I picked out myself. What year do you reckon that is? Late 70s, early 80s, so. West German, yeah. This is my kid in the sweet shop moment, thanks to Degsy. Absolutely love these Puma Ace. Reminds me of a pair of Nike Wimbledons I had. Absolutely love them, and I think they'd go down amazing on 80s casuals. Wait for all your comments asking for them. This particular one, the Puma Austria. I think the idea of getting Puma to bring stuff back. Today we're looking at similar foot soles, which is quite a big part of the deal to get a trainer to come back, really, that the brand has to be working on it. Probably the biggest request at the minute, off the back of the GV and probably the tennis silhouettes, the California, and it's got the new buck on there and the blue. What do you reckon, early 80s on them? These are the late 80s then. We've definitely got to get them back because that's all we're being asked for at the minute. Looking at a few little runners with Puma and again some some sort of soles, but maybe just before I saw these, um, well, we got chatting about Mitre earlier. A bit of a vintage person and I find something catches my eye because I buy what I like. Yeah, that's worthy of a, of a mention. So there's two Taharas, yep. uh, this colourway and that colour. And 
I'm pretty certain I had a pair of these, not back in the day, because I think you were saying it'd be 70s. Yeah. I'm not so showing my age, I could have had them. I think I got a bit fortunate in the 80s that we discovered a shop in Bedford that got a load upstairs and I managed to get a pair out of that. You do uh, these in about five or six different colourways. Really? Yeah. That's a favourite for me. What is the name on this one? These are the Fast Rider. Fast Rider, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a style that we've had on 80s casuals and it, it does sell well. I mean, this colour, everyone would call like the Bluebird, wouldn't they? Which yeah. is a renowned Puma colourway that always does well. Been trawling through Degsy's feeler jumpers, some great styles. I had to dig this one out. People might have seen it in the trailer and uh, the poster with Jack Rowan, who plays the lead guy, Gene, wearing this particular feeler. Plenty of detail, uh, a lively piece. Be nice to try and get that to come back. Bit of a collection here for Degsy. I thought feeler made things in fours, but these stripy jumpers, it feels like Degsy's managed to find five of them. So it looks like we've got the ocean blue with a multi-stripe, navy with a multi-stripe, grey, might be a bit of a rare find in a sportswear brand. And Dex has got a red and white, and I think you've got a bit of a story. I had one of those in 82. Came back from Germany. Proper ski jumpers. People know I like a bit of a cream jumper. My little shopkeeper jumper from the firm. This is a proper Bjorn Borg BJ based on a Mark II. Sometimes Mark II styles seem to have the two stripes on one shoulder. Another time they do it on both. Personally, I think always have it on both shoulders. Various bits of branding on knitwear. This one's got white rock, which was obviously a uh, ski knit, or perhaps not obviously, but it's a, uh, you get a sort of thicker, seem to get a thicker weight on the ski styles. We've done this in the past with the button up neck and like the polo collar. And again, I think it's another one we'll do. Plenty of colors in these. Always liking me a less uh, classic V-Lass. There's imagery of V-Lass wearing the renowned yellow colour with the yellow shorts that we sell. We've sold this over the years, considerably large branding, which you'd think was relevant to sort of pro player. I've shown this on some previous videos, again, classic VLAS. Not really seen this one and particularly liking it. It's probably had a bit of a wash on it, so the sky's probably gone a bit lighter. It's almost a lilac look. Loving the little fit of this Sergio number. Gonna have to keep me weight down for this one. Classic raw Sergio. We reckon late 60s, early 70s with the banded stripe. Sergio Tacchini, where they're colouring in the T as well on the front. This is a bit of a rare find, this feeler. I haven't really seen or got a chance to ever have worn one of these. Love the old scoop design. I'm sure I've seen a famous female tennis player in this late 70s. Early 80s. Proper talked about feeler from back in the day. Enough lads talk about the Trinda, but a fair few people talk about the WCT. And you remember it yeah. from back in the day. Dex has managed to get three colours. I saw someone the other day post a red one, so I imagine typical feeler, that's probably the four colours. We've got a book here, which is the WCT catalogue, and we've also got a price list. Back in 1982, the WCT suit £104.50p. That's pretty serious going. I'm hoping Degs is going to tell me a little bit, a bit about this, one of his favourite pieces. This is one of my favourites. Obviously I wish I had it, that colour had fit me, but obviously it's part of the Mountaineer range that Rotten Age, that was done in the 70s. Do you still wear this one now? Yes. Blinding. So I was asking Degsy about his favourite piece. Is there a bit of a story? What no, no, favorite? it's just the knitted field just brings it right back to being in the 70s, 80s. So the old badge on the arm, big badge on the front, shirt collars. I've never seen anything like it. Overlaid stripes, wicked. Over the years, like classic jumpers that resemble track tops. I think this is um, certainly one similar to a track top, probably another one we need to bring back. I'm quite proud to say I've got four of these myself and I've supplied them to the firm and they've since gone to Town Call Malice UK scenes, very much like a feeler track top. Notice how there's the large scale badge on this one and smaller scale there, but that's how feeler rolled at the time. Thanks today, Degs. We've no got problem, a little, mate. little gift for you. 80s Casuals presents Derek Thickcroft, better known as Degsy as an official 80s casuals legend. Oh, thank you there very you much. Proper legend. <laughs> thank you.